Hey guys, hi and hello. Welcome to my channel, Divide and Conquer with Radha. Today's topic of discussion is very interesting. We are going to learn the basics of trigonometry. Sometimes we really wonder why do we learn certain concepts in maths? What are their practical applications? Say, for example, you would want to measure the height of a 50-story building or an area of a field or an inclination of a roof. It's practically not possible to use a measuring tape to measure these details, right? Trigonometry finds its application in such areas. Trigonometry is actually a Greek word where trig means triangle and metry means measurement. So basically trigonometry means measurement of triangles. And we are going to deal only with right angle triangles. Before we get into the basics of trigonometry, let us get the concepts of Pythagoras theorem clear. Pythagoras theorem states that in a right angle triangle, the sum of squares of two sides of a triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Let's consider a right angle triangle ABC right angled at B. The side opposite to right angle is the hypotenuse. AC is the hypotenuse. The side adjacent to hypotenuse is considered the base. So BC is the base. And the side opposite to acute angle is the perpendicular. So AB is the perpendicular. As per Pythagoras theorem, the sum of squares of two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. AB squared plus BC squared is equal to AC squared. It's very important that you identify the hypotenuse base and perpendicular so that you don't get confused while deriving trigonometrical values and ratios. Let's derive the six trigonometrical ratios in triangle ABC for acute angle A. Sine A is the ratio between the length of the perpendicular and the hypotenuse. Here perpendicular is equal to BC and hypotenuse is equal to AC. Since I have denoted perpendicular by letter P and hypotenuse with letter H, sine A is equal to BC by AC, that is equal to P by H. Now, cos A is defined as the ratio between the base and the hypotenuse. Base is equal to AB and hypotenuse is AC, that's equal to B by H. And tan A is the ratio between the perpendicular and the base that is BC by AB or P by B. We can also say that tan A is equal to sin A by cos A. Cosec A is the reciprocal of sin A. We had derived the ratio of sin A to be perpendicular by hypotenuse and we had denoted it as P by H. Now cosec A will be the reciprocal of sin A so we get H by P or you can write cosec A is equal to AC by BC. Secant A is the reciprocal of cos A. We derived the ratio of cos A to be base by hypotenuse that is B by H. So secant A is going to be the reciprocal of cos A. So 1 by B by H gives us H by B. That is the ratio between hypotenuse and base. So sec A is equal to AC by AB. Cotangent A or cot A is the reciprocal of tan A. We have derived the ratio of tan A to be equal to perpendicular by base. So cot A is equal to 1 by P by B. On reciprocating, we get B by P, where B is the base AB and P is the perpendicular BC. Therefore, cot A is equal to AB by BC. I hope today's session helped you to learn something new. In case of any queries, please do post them in the comment section. We'll certainly try and respond. Let's meet up with another interesting video. Till then, happy learning, stay safe, take care and bye-bye.